What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you how to join the Brotherhood of Blood offline. Now to join it online is actually pretty easy, all you would have to do is invade somebody using a cracked red eye orb, killing him and that would award you the token of spite. Now if you want to join it offline and if you're like me and you only play offline for now, um, you would basically have to go down the pit. Now, that would be pretty hard to do, but if you've already unlocked Gilligan, then you could just purchase the ladders and um, take the furthest one down all the way down. And um, pretty much after you go all the way down, you're going to want to go to the bottom, bottom most area, uh, travel through there, and make sure you jump off the bridge. Go even further down until you reach a point where it looks like a bunch of scaffolds. All you need to do is climb down... Um, and there's a chest at the base floor and if you want you can open up the chest and go ahead and resume into that area but um depending on how much of a badass you are you might not want to do that uh, and just do like how I did and homeward bone it out of there um, but that's completely up to you and uh, if you're wondering you unlock Gilligan after you beat the um, what's her name myth of the boss fight um, she's an earthen peak and uh, you can actually find Gilligan there, but um, I missed that chance, and he's actually kind of hidden, so that's something you want to take in, uh, into consideration. But either way it goes, after you beat that boss, you unlock him, uh, pay the souls, and um, get the ladder so it's always so it's a lot easier. But if you don't have him yet, you can always go to Shao Kwa, and she sells you the, um, the cat ring, which pretty much um, reduces fall damage. So if you have a high enough health, that first fall that uh, you can actually see right there with the dead body on it that won't kill you but keep in mind if you didn't invest too many points in vigor it doesn't matter because it will still kill you so that's something to also take into consideration if you have low vigor uh, you might want to pump a couple of uh, points into that before you decide on doing that jump and then another way that you have to join this um, another way before you can join this covenant is you have to already have beaten the executioner chariot as well because the person that we're going to have to talk to is actually in the undead purgatory so we're going to go there now uh, as soon as i find it undead purgatory and that's the only bonfire that's there so we're going to go ahead and go there now all right so now that we're here the person we have to talk to is actually in front of us his name is titchy grin and keep in mind that this is my first time doing this so i'm actually going to talk to him and i'm going to lower down the um or I'm gonna higher up the volume so that way we can hear his dialogue. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Do you have a lust for blood? And make sure one other thing that you say yes on all of these questions. So we're gonna get back into it. Yes, of course. Why else would you be here? Do you give yourself the Nar armor? Then you will need blood. Oh, lots of it. Undead blood, like your own. But it's not as easy as you think. Ah. <laughs> what would he say? Join the Brotherhood of Blood? Hmm. That can hardly be the whole story. I want to hear what you really think. You want more than just a little blood. You want to be drenched in blood, mired in its foul stench. Am I right? Am I? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Fantastic. You're the best. Now you are a servant of Na'alna. 
This crest of blood is yours. There, another servant of blood is born. You will serve well, I just know you will. <laughs> Well, how are we? Whatever you need, I've got it for you. Alright, so there we go. Now we're a part of the Brotherhood of Blood. I'm going to actually see what kind of items that he sells. It looks like right off the bat he has a great scythe, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, a pretty decent dex weapon that um, a lot of people can fool around with. It also looks like he sells a bone set, which is actually really cool. I might come pick it up as soon as I get enough souls for it um, a delicate string increases chance of being invaded so that's actually what this covenant is all about I'm gonna go into detail right now but before I do um, that's pretty much it right now I'm just gonna fool around a little bit and see exactly what this guy has to offer stick around if you want but if you don't want to then that's how you join the Brotherhood of Blood and I hope you enjoyed this video uh, leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and until next time take care and for those who actually want to hang out for a little bit, uh, we're going to see exactly all this stuff real quick. So that, what was that? The uh, Delicate String, that seems like a pretty cool one. And he also sells Red Soap Stein, which is pretty cool as well. Um, we're going to actually come back and pick up some of these things as soon as I get um, a lot of souls. And um, this is pretty cool. He has an unlimited Silver Talisman um, item, which is kind of cool. I was thinking about releasing a video on that, um, but we'll see exactly how that goes. A couple of pyromancies as well and um, I guess I should go ahead and give you guys the uh, backstory of this covenant um, basically what it is is a covenant that is focused on invasions uh, he gives you cracked red eye orbs and you use those cracked red eye orbs to obviously invade other people's worlds and the way that you join the ranks in this um, covenant is you need to get a certain amount of token of spites but when you do that this covenant is where uh, this is the part where it differs from the others the only way you can raise in the ranks is if you fight another Brotherhood of Blood uh, member and beat him. Now, if you lose, you go down in the ranks. But if you win, you go up in the ranks. So that's something that you might want to consider as well because that's actually kind of unique. It actually gives you the sense of this fight is all or nothing. I either go back to starting, you know, go back to base one or I can rise in the ranks and... I don't know what these people give as soon as you're raising the ranks, but I'll look that up and uh, probably comment it, but who knows. Um, I always say that and I never do. I have a bad habit of that. But uh, we're also going to go ahead and look at the seal that he gave us real quick. It um, should be further down here. The Crest of Blood. Okay, Covenant Ring used. Covenant Ring given to those who seek blood. It's a Ring of the Brotherhood of Blood Covenant. No notable effect. This ring is nothing special. Perhaps in the end, an oath is but a window into the ambitions of the oath taker. If you have taken this oath, then you know what you want to be soaked in, in the blood of your kind. So it's kind of uh, kind of mysterious. And if it doesn't have an effect, then who knows? I don't know. But um, it's going to wrap it up for this video. This is actually a pretty uh, unique NPC that I want to get into a little bit more. But uh, we'll do that another time. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care.